So guys, I feel like I'm off this set of bad golf made easy here with all these training aids, you know, how am I going to actually use these to change my golf game or are they just ornaments that are under the stairs at the house? Let's have a look in this video how you can apply it to your game to change your swing. So if you're like me, you have got loads of training aids, okay? I've got a massive selection here. Now, which one do I use on a day? Is it that I just kind of go up there and I fancy, you know, giving the alignment sticks a bit of a go? Fancy, a bit of a tour striker for the day. Which one's it gonna be? Well, what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna relate this practice station to changing my swing. I said to you last time that the most important thing for me is impact and also making sure I set the club, but that relates back to impact, okay? I only keep my hand set in the club if I'm struggling with one particular shot. So I'm going to talk you through that. So first thing is, this is a given. Having the alignment rod here, okay? And then we're having that straight down onto the target line. So target line's going to go straight through here. This relates me back to where is the ball starting. Okay, so I've got, I've got those both set up. Now, what I'm going to do, get the golf ball in place. This is now the ideal practice station because I can then see from my shot shaping, where the ball is starting relative to, to the rod. Got the impact bag set up right here. So the first thing that I would be doing is I'd go straight into the impact bag here, get the impact bag, and I'm gonna make some swings into this impact bag, just getting a feel for impact. So just rehearsing the feelings at impact of where I want the body to be moving and where the hands feel like they're delivering the club. What I will then do is step into my hitting area, hit the shot, and as I've hit the shot, relate the feeling back to the impact bag, okay? So then what we want to really try and do is, as I'm relating the feel back to the impact bag, is make repetitions on there, at least two, to really try and get the feeling of how I'm delivering the club. Now for my game, I've obviously I've got the swing guide right here. This is, if the ball is keep starting too far to the right, okay, so I'm leaving the face a bit open, but I feel like I'm making great impact positions, I know I'm not setting the club properly. So the swing guide works brilliantly for me because it really allows me to get the feeling of getting the wrist set, okay? So I can then relate everything. I'm having a look at the start line from the stick, okay? I'm seeing where that ball is coming from. Obviously, I can use the video camera to have a look and make sure that... I am doing what I think I'm doing. Is it just a feel or is I actually doing something randomly different? So if I start to see the club going a bit under plane, get the swing guide out, start to hit balls with the swing guide, getting the feeling here, okay, and then the turn through. And the really smart bit is because the impact bag isn't exclusive to one club, double up the two for me, getting right in here, getting the feeling of that wrist set, hitting the impact bag, feeling where I want to be, and then always relating the ball flight back to how it feels to me, back to how it looks on the video, and therefore I'm always getting feedback to my practice session. So this is just a way that I would have mine set up. Now, if you like to work at various other things in your swing, it might be you're working at a swing plane more, you might have noodles set up, you might have all these other different training aids set up, but it's the key is having a station set up that gives you the feedback and you relate it back to ball flight, feeling, and then feedback from the video. That way, you're in the greatest position possible to con con continue making the swing improvements that you're after. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching, and talk to you again very soon.